Okay, hello there and welcome to a new playthrough. Today we're trying out a game called Pokemon Atlas. English or Spanish? Ain't no way this is how the game starts, bro. Alright, I guess. Frick, did I already blink? Shout out to the creators of this, as always. What is this title screen? Oh my god. Is Celebi okay? <laughs> I like how we picked the English version, but already the start menu here says Pulsa, which we will do right now. All right, let's begin a new game. Ah, what was that? Sounded like, uh, actually, I don't know what Pokemon. I'm so bad with Pokemon cries, dude. Where am I? Oh, a classic amnesia story. Wait. Who am I? Oh my god! <laughs> Never saw this coming. I hear like some Pokemon coming out. Uh. Oh. Okay, well I recognize that cry. I was about to say, that's Absol! Oh my gosh, this is so crazy already. Absol, wait! Don't just rush off like that. I can't keep up. Absol? What, you found a person? And they're hurt? Oh my, wait, is that voice acting too? Oh my, let's see, you've got a huge bump on your head. Don't worry, I don't think it's serious. You must have hit yourself hard, right? By the way, I'm Stephanie Maple, but you can call me Steph. I'm a Pokemon professor. Well, not officially, but I love researching Pokemon and learning everything about them. I like her little earring, the unknown. She's also got an interesting little pin. I don't know what that is, but it's cute. <laughs> You look lost. Do you know where we are? Bro, I don't even know who I am, so of course I don't know where or what I'm doing here. There is voice acting. That is crazy. I mean, there, there's like a grunt, which is more than Pokemon usually does. Wow, you must have hit your head real hard if you don't remember anything. Do you at least know your name? Hmm? Ah, you must have a trainer ID. Check your pockets. Yes, that's it. Let me check the name on it. Okay, so we still do get to pick our name, but yo, look at our character. It's looking kind of kind of like Ezreal from League of Legends, I'm not going to lie. Who needs a map? You know what? Just because Ezreal's name is close to my own real name, we're going to go with it for the first time maybe ever in one of these playthroughs. Your name is Ariel. I mean, it's originally a Spanish <laughs> fan game too, so I know that these characters can at least pronounce my name properly. <laughs> I wouldn't want to leave you alone with a bump like that and no memory, so... How about we rest a bit until the swelling comes down? Don't worry about me. I wasn't in a hurry. <laughs> oh boy, she's as awkward as I am. Oh my god, these graphics though. Like, look at these effects. Oh. Brings a little tear to my eye. Hmm, yes, that bump is almost gone now. That's great. What a relief. Here, don't forget the goggles you had on your head earlier. But be careful putting them on. We don't want you getting hurt again. <laughs> Do you wear those goggles because you're some kind of Pokemon rider or... Oh, sorry, that's right. You said you don't remember. Wait, am I like a Digimon tamer? Usually, Digimon characters have the goggles. <laughs> well, whatever they are, they look great on you. I just had to say that, and I did. <laughs> okay. Uh... I think I'll put Absol back in his Pokeball, just in case it tries to rush off again. Oh my gosh, the sound effects. You deserve a nice long rest, buddy. You feeling better? Uh, I, I guess. I'm so glad. Even so, I think it'd be best if you came with me. I want to try to find a way to help you remember something you know. Plus, I'm reluctant to leave you alone without even knowing who you are. It must be such a tough situation. Before we go, I have something, or I have to do something. Hang on. Thanks, Celebi, for us meeting here. I came here to place some flowers on its altar, just as the townspeople recommended. As I'm new around here, I just moved in. I hope Celebi likes the flowers. I hope Celebi's okay, considering what we saw on the title screen. I don't think Celebi's even around here. Now then, I hope you don't mind this taking a bit longer. I can't break tradition. Follow me, Cleo Town is close by. Dude, I can't unsee. I can't help but just see Ezreal with this character. Like, what? It can't be just me, right? No problems here. Celebi. Why does that name sound familiar? It's a good question. Ugh, my head hurts when I try to remember. I'd better leave it for now and follow that girl. 
Do we actually get to start playing? Oh? Memory book updated. What the heck? Seems you've lost your memory. Search for items throughout the region that will help you recover it. All memories and doubts will be noted in the notebook, which you can access from the menu. Yo, this is crazy. There's so much effort just in these little graphics. Okay, so it's literally just summarizing everything that we just went through. And then for some reason, he decided to write Celebi in huge letters. And now we can move. Okay. Yo, this is so cool. Like, I just love the little, like, particle effects overlay kind of thing. And I mean, just the route itself is so full of details. Like, everything moves to the water, the plants. Oh my god, it gets even better. Look at this. Yo. I recognize this theme too. I feel like this is from like Pokemon Black and White. I'm probably wrong. I'm so bad with Pokemon music and Pokemon cries. But the graphics are definitely giving black and white. Like they also had leaves and stuff going overhead. Wait, the music? Oh my god. Ordon Village from Twilight Princess. That's literally my favorite Zelda game, dude. I'm gonna cry. Enjoying the view, Ariel? You can see all of Cleo Town. Doesn't it look pretty? It's small and cozy. Just what I was looking for. I'll let you explore it if you want. When you're done, don't forget to come to my house. I want to talk to you. You can't miss it. It's the only one in town with a blue roof. <laughs> and speaking of blue roofs, what is that little blue bird on the roof? It definitely looks like a Pidgey, but I ain't never seen a blue Pidgey before. Oh my god, look at the Pelipper too! <laughs> this is so cool. This Rhyperior is angry though. My kids are so competitive, but it's normal. Despite their age, they still act like children. They recently got their first Pokemon and they want to make up for lost time by training every minute of the day. <laughs> I still remember it like yesterday. The excitement of catching my first Pokemon. Now I have a proper team. What? Of course we could have a Pokemon battle, but for now I think you're too green. Like a newbie, I'm guessing. How about you come back when you be in about six gyms? Okay, I don't even think there are six gyms in this first demo. Because yeah, this is actually a very early beta of this game. It literally came out, I think, like less than a week ago. And as usual, you guys can find the link to download it and play it for yourself in the description. But uh, wow, look at this menu, bro. This is another thing I've heard. Spanish ROM hacks are very well known for having like just the UI, the graphics in general are always really cool. Oh, pff. okay. There's a translated version of the little note that we saw earlier here. Just uh. I like the drawings, those are cute. And then in our bag, we've got absolutely nothing, but the bag does look pretty sick. Like, look at that, bro. You can see the map and the fishing rod, all of our usual held items. I'm sorry if I'm gushing too much, but like, these are pretty crazy graphics for a Pokemon fan game. Or I guess as far as fan games go, this is one of the like best looking ones I think I've ever played. Where will I go after passing through Cleo Town? There are so many places to go in In- Ingaron. You look like you love traveling too, so here, you're me ca catching me in a good mood. Oh. Thank you. I'm not sure that I said the name of the region correctly. Ingaram? Ingaran? Ingaran? I don't know. Fang loves watching the water Pokemon in the stream as much as I do. One day we'll catch one, won't we? Oh, that's cute. He gave his Houndour a nickname. We need more of that in official Pokemon games, like... Other trainers that actually nickname their Pokemon. Oh, we do have running shoes. Okay, I was about to say, most fan games and ROM hacks nowadays, they give you the running shoes right from the start. There's nothing more pleasant in this world than sitting under this old tree and feeling the breeze, caressing your skin. Sometimes it's good to stop for a moment, don't you think? Yeah, it would be better if you actually, you know, gave me a little something like that other guy, but let's go, Sparks. Oh, everybody's nicknaming their Pokemon. Yo, this little Electa, uh, uh, Elekid. Has a little, like, red bandana on him, too. That's so cool. I don't know if that's gonna be a feature or what. Oh, the technology's incredible, guy. There are more and more robots capable of doing human tasks. Wonder if that's a hint for something specifically in this region? <gasps> we can sit on the benches, too! Okay. This is 1010. Best fan game I've ever played. <laughs> what is this over here? Dr. Doc's amazing name. Dr. Doc, come in and heal your Pokemon. I don't even have any Pokemon yet, so I'm not sure why I'm actually going in here. In my younger days, I was a doctor. 
I know how desperate people can be to heal their Pokemon, so today I offer my home as a Pokemon Center. If you need a rest, you can do so in the bed with the green quilt. The other one is mine! <laughs> Don't hesitate, come by as often as you like. Bro, everyone here does like the awkward laugh. Is that just like a Spanish thing? Because I feel like I do that a lot too. Alright, this lady sells some items, that's pretty nice. Okay, but I think we're good on exploring the town, I mean... I don't think we're gonna get anything else too crazy this early in the game. And I definitely want to see what the starters are in this game, so let's go find Maple's house. Or what was her name? I already forgot, to be honest. Steph? Steph Maple, right? Stephanie Maple? Dr. Maple! Look at this! They're so sweet! Hey, Ariel! How'd you like the town? It's very cozy, that's why I came here. It's far from the noise of the city where I lived. <laughs> Don't pay much attention to the house itself. Most of my stuff is still in boxes and waiting to be unpacked, but, well, come with me. I want to give you something. You don't make new friends every day. Oh, hell yeah. Is it going to be new starters? Is it going to be regional forms? Oh my god, that'd be so sick. The truth is, I'm not one for visitors. <laughs> I haven't fixed the leak yet, and the other day when I tried to put the antenna on my roof, the ceiling broke under my feet. Luckily, I still had my mattress stored down here. Otherwise, I would have hurt myself. <laughs> well, let's put my clumsiness aside and get to the point, shall we? Come, come! You see that Pokeball? Inside is a very special po- Ooh. So we don't get to even pick our starter. We just get literally one. I'm giving it to you, okay? Because from what I can tell, you don't have any with you. And that could be dangerous. I found it on one of my trips and it caught my attention. Hope you like it and you two get along well. What could it be? I can't even begin to guess. I mean, it looks like an Eevee, but it's definitely not your usual Eevee. Like, its pattern is, like, reversed. Do you like it? It's an Eevee, although I think it's special. Eevee usually aren't like this. I'm sure if you two became friends, you'll discover what makes it special. I already know, but I want you to find out too. Okay. I mean, we can probably guess it's going to have a new Eeveelution. Seems it already likes you. Perfect! Absolutely perfecto! I knew you'd seem like a worthy trainer to it, and every trainer worth their salt should keep a record of the Pokémon they see. So we're gonna get a Pokédex! I mean, a Pokédex app! Your screen is cracked, just like mine. Let's see... Nice. Installed and ready to go. Now you'll be able to see all the information you'll need about the Pokémon you come across. And last but not least, a few Pokéballs! Heck yeah! I've given you five so you can complete your Pokemon team. You know, since I was a little girl, I've dreamed of becoming a renowned Pokemon professor someday. Like Professor Oak, or Professor Sonia, or even Kukui, A. A little subtle shade on Kukui there. <laughs> I love their studies and research, and I know that if I work hard enough, one day I could become this region's professor. Professor Stephanie Maple. Maybe just Professor Maple. Because, you know, all the professors are named after trees. Oh no! Here comes my brother! Wait, who are you? And what are you doing with the Pokemon my sister caught? Oh, I thought he was saying, what are you doing with my sister? <laughs> oh, wait, he's going to be our rival? Oh, my God. Yo. Who did the music for this? Oh, the nickname on Charmander? That's actually what I always nickname my female Charmander, too. Cinder. You know, I always do Fuego for the guy, but Cinder is my go-to, although I usually spell it with a Y. It's a little bit different, but I just noticed how it also has a little bandana on its tail. Oh my god, okay. Nice, good job, Eevee. How come our Eevee doesn't get a little bandana? Maybe that, that comes later, but... Ugh, it can't be. How could I have lost to a simpleton like you? Whatever, move out of the way. I need to talk to my sister. Grim, he beat you in his first battle. You're pathetic. <laughs> That was his first battle, but he seemed so confident. Uh... Well, now that you mention it, I don't know. I found him with a bump on his head near the altar of Celebi. And the poor thing doesn't remember anything. This is giving me a bad vibe. Lately, strange things have been happening in Ingeron, huh? Oh, what do you mean? Yesterday, I came across a very rare Pokemon. Look, I even took a photo so you could see it. I know you're into this stuff. <laughs> what? is on that polywag skin. Pokemon, but what? what is that one? Ch chicken pox? They told me they took it to a Pokemon Center, but they were told it was an unknown virus and that it had no cure. I was shocked. Then a man in a black coat offered to take it away and analyze and cure it. 
And in a couple of weeks, BAM! There I was. Or it was. Healthy and with those marks. Huh. So it's a new virus. The worst part is, they told me that their Pokemon wasn't the only one with those spots. <laughs> what? There are more? Honestly, now you've made me want to study this virus. It's behaving very strangely. I think your research should continue down that path. Those Pokemon with spots and that nasty virus. I have to figure out why that's happening. Mm -hmm. Great, I've made a decision. I'll become the Pokemon League Champion. Yeah, sure you will, buddy. That's my first step, to surpass Blue. Are you on about Blue again? How annoying. But well, now that you mention it, while I research, I could also go and beat the 8 gyms of the region. It might be fun. What do you think of the idea, Ariel? Could you beat this region's gyms and visit them and maybe... You might even start remembering some stuff, right? Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, gotta do what you gotta do to, you know, beat the game. And what else? Uh, yeah, that's right. By the way, if they don't remember anything, Ariel will need a map of Ingaran, right? Oh, yes. This is one of the things I always look forward to the most whenever I start a new fan game is seeing the map of the region. And it looks like he just gave us the map app. Don't think I'll make it easy for you. I'm going to give it my all. Okay, so they're both going to be rivals. Oh my god, that face. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's not waste more time. Good luck to both of you. Luck. You'll be the ones needing luck. <laughs> Ah, oh, the music again. I love this. But yeah, let's check out all of our new- Oh yeah, I just realized how the UI itself is like a smartphone. That's so sick. Of course, we got an Android too, because Android gang superior. But look at this region. Okay. So we got like the typical forest area to start off with. Erato Town. Then we go through some kind of mountain or cave. And there's like a snowy area in the south, which is reverse of what we're used to. Victoria Beachwood? What? <laughs> I like the look of this area up here though. I guess it's like a little volcano. We got like a beach as well. And then there's like a little lonely island over here. Pescadilla Villa. Love the name, the rhyming there. Okay, so pretty diverse region. Wait, we can access the PC from our phone? Okay, that's pretty awesome. And then we also got a Dex Nav already? Hell yeah. I've been playing a lot of Radical Red recently and the Dex Nav is pretty sick in that game. Uh, notice how the Charmander here in the Dex doesn't have the little bandana on its tail, so that definitely wasn't like a regional form. I think there is some kind of customization gimmick in this region that I hope we'll be able to do with our own Pokemon. Only one way to find out, right? Let's go on! Or maybe not. Points of interest, the Altar of Celebi. North of town, you can find the Altar of Celebi. Okay, well we were just there. I don't think there's anything else or any wild Pokemon or anything there, so... Yeah, now let's move on to Route 1. Yes, sir. <gasps> and it's still Zelda music. I love that. Oh my god, I don't even want to interrupt it. This is actually Wind Waker, though, not Twilight Princess anymore. Somehow I know my Zelda music more than Pokemon. Wait, what was that little noise? Was it the Dex Nav? I feel like there's going to be like a... Uh... Shaking patch of grass somewhere. Yo, there's like wild Pokemon out in the overworld too. Oh my god. Okay. Wild Pokemon music kind of going crazy too. I'm not going to be doing any sort of challenge or Nuzlocke or anything. Uh, but I am just curious what other Pokemon we can find in this route. I'm not really feeling grubbing. Yeah, what the heck? It like shook again. What? That has to be something, right? Let me check the Dex Nav. Okay, so yeah. So that just unlocks Grubbin. Since it's the only one we've seen so far. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a way to get to that Yamper anyway. But I think I saw like a Nidoran up there too. Okay, let's just fight the first trainer. Finally, someone passed by. So you'll be my first victim. Oh my god, I'm so sc- Jose! Yo! I'm not reacting to the name. I'm just- I like that, that little scene. That was so cool. Definitely getting Pokemon X and Y vibe. This is kind of like, what if Pokemon X and Y was 2D? Is the vibe that I'm getting from this game. Or maybe more like... Yeah, I guess X and Y Gen 6, because I know Oras or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire added in the Dex Nav later on. But it was still a Gen 6 game, so this is like, if Gen 6 was 2D... The graphics are going crazy, and like, yeah, they have a lot of like... Similar vibe, I feel. 
Hello, young one. You know, I was a great trainer when I was young. You didn't expect that, huh? Why are there so many old people reminiscing in this game, bro? Come on, I just wanted to talk. <laughs> well, we need more kids like you, you know? Those who like to listen to their elders. In the end, we all must learn from each other. Just as I could teach you many things, you young ones can teach us a lot of too. Life flows, time change. It's also nice talking to someone who wants to learn. <laughs> Keep it up! Y you actually had nothing helpful. To okay. We got Joy's house. Stop by if you're tired. Ooh, Nurse Joy? Can we get to this, like, uh, scarecrow over here? I guess not. Alright, on we go then. Did you know that sometimes the Pokemon you carry with you detect items that go completely unnoticed by humans? Stay alert to your Pokemon and you can- Oh. So was that little exclamation mark earlier? Was that Eevee telling us there's an item? Oh yeah, look! Eevee just did it again! Huh? So it was Eevee, but... I- I don't- There's no... Hidden items around here, like, what, what, what were you looking at, Eevee? Not really sure. Seems like that is what it is, though. Eevee spotted something. And we do have a wild yamper, so even though we couldn't interact with the one in the overworld, there are actually wild yampers in this route, which is cool. Don't underestimate the little ones I'm raising. Oh. This is so sick. Brendan, okay. I just love that they did custom artwork for all of the different Pokemon trainer types. Okay! So just as I suspected, we have a new regional form for Pidgey. Is it a water type? Because it's blue, I mean, I would probably guess ice type over water for a Pidgey specifically. And also there's a way too many water flying types, so I feel like I don't know, if I was making my fan game, I definitely would make Pidgey a water flying, like another water flying, I mean. Yeah, what the heck? Eevee keeps like having that exclamation mark, but there's like nothing around. Unless, oh yeah, even if we talk to him or her. Wait, I didn't even notice. Did we get a male or female Eevee? We didn't get to nickname it either. Oh, there we go. We got the wild Pidgey. Let's go. And we do have a female Eevee actually. Kind of interesting, I just noticed we didn't get to pick our character's gender. Or there wasn't like a character option at all. Like it's just always gonna be Ezreal, I guess. <laughs> anyway. What? We have EXP share already? I guess it's like EXP all because it says on, so all Pokemon will automatically gain XP, which I don't mind, you know? At least they give us the option to turn it off too, so if you want more of a challenge, you can just turn that off. Although sometimes I feel like it's not really more challenging, it's just more tedious training up your other Pokemon. But it looks like this Pidgey is dark and flying? Looks like the type symbols haven't been translated. Uh, but VOL I think stands for Volar. So flying and then Sinister. Siniestro. Is that what you call dark type in Spanish? Siniestro. Sinister. Interesting. We got a dark and flying Pidgey. Hello Chichi. What should I nickname my Pidgey cheese? <laughs> my nicknaming skills have definitely gotten worse over the years. I got no excuses there. <laughs> I keep pushing the wrong buttons too. Hold up. Let me just fix up my controls because... Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now my controls are more like your usual Pokemon. Let's see what's going on down here. Have you seen any Pidgey around? Keep in mind that in Inground they have their own form. Instead of brown, they're blue and a bit more aggressive than those from Kanto. A traveler heading to Cleo Town told me that Ingeron is full of regional forms on each- Wait, one on each route? Oh, yes! Okay. Now I'm even more excited for- Wait, what? Eevee found a trace, but it's very faint. Meaning, like, Eevee perceives an odor. There must be something- Uh, is it- uh, Oh, okay. Well, we finally found a hidden item! Oh, this house is locked. Dang. <laughs> Finally a Pokemon region where people actually value their privacy. That's crazy. Look, look. I saw your battles from here. Bravo. I think you're now worthy of fighting my adorable Pokemon. Get ready, because besides being adorable, they are strong. Ah, so I'm guessing this girl wouldn't have battled us unless you've already beaten all the other trainers in the route. Kind of like there's those special trainers in Scarlet and Violet. So yeah, definitely this game, even though it's 2D, I, I'm getting a lot of inspo from the 3D Pokemon games. Not in the graphics, but you know, in terms of the gameplay. And I did not heal up Birdo. Nice! I mean, at least we got the, uh, 
what's it called? Intimidate off so they won't hurt as bad, but I should definitely just use one of these potions. Oh my gosh. I was petting cheese earlier and I got some hairs in my nose. I'm actually surprised we haven't gotten it poisoned yet. Although I probably shouldn't even say it in case I like speak it into existence. And of course, why do I even talk, bro? Like, I know myself. I know Pokemon games at this point. <laughs> too bad, and I trained so much too. Darn, maybe with this you'll understand the bond that connects me with Pokemon. Oh, okay. Usually Destiny Dot is good for like, oh my God, look, our Eevee. It's glowing. <laughs> okay, well, I think I did see there's like, uh, Nurse Joy over here, or at least someone called Joy in this house. I mean, let's be real. If there's someone named Joy in the Pokemon world, it's got to be a Nurse Joy, right? And I saw a Chansey too. Oh my gosh, she's like retired though. Oh, that's so cool. Why don't you rest a bit? Yes, let me rest. Although I am also interested in talking. Don't hesitate to come back if you feel tired. I'll always be here to help anyone who comes. Let me guess, if we talk, she'll say, In my youth, I was also a beautiful Nurse Joy like those in any Pokemon Center, of course. I was in charge of the morning shift at Arato Town. Those were the best years of my life. <laughs> Man, there are a lot of old people in this game. I mean, I like it though, you know? We gotta respect our elders. Or at the very least, listen to their stories, listen to their ramblings. <laughs> That's the least I can do, at least with my grandparents. I just listen, you know? Anyway, what do we got over here? Melancholy Forest. Oh my god, there's an Impidimp. And the music here is freaking creepy, dude. I love it. What is up with this sword, too? What the hell? Did like a battle happen here? Like, uh, this ain't Pokemon Crown, right? It's not medieval times anymore. Oh, yo, for a second I thought that was like a special shiny, but it looks like our new regional form for this route is going to be Phantom. And I just killed it. I mean, that's like the second crit that Eevee has gotten already. Kind of crazy. Like, we don't even have Super Lock, right? Actually, what is Eevee's ability? I haven't checked. Oh, we can change the nickname from uh, here. Okay, we got Guts at... Oh, wait! Dang, so I should have stayed Poison earlier. Dang, I want to go for the tried and true. I always name my Eevee Darwin, but it just it doesn't fit. This is a completely new Eevee, so... Maybe we got to stick in, like, the evolutionary theme, though. Is there, like, a female... I don't know why my brain just goes to Jane Goodall, the lady that like studies monkeys. <laughs> yeah, why not? I guess we'll go with Jane. Plain Jane. At least for now, because you know, Eevee's normal type, but eventually she'll become a not so plain Jane. <laughs> Yo, okay, for a second I thought she had like fairy wings in the silhouette, but it was just like ponytails or something. Oh my god, this is her! The po polka dotted. Uh, chicken pox polywag. I keep forgetting the name of that thing. I actually never got chicken pox as a kid, which is weird because I feel like everyone gets it at least once in their life. And they say like, if you never got it, like, and you get it when you're old, you could die or something. I might be wrong about that, but my Pokemon got sick and some men in black coats offered to cure it. Now it's like this, but it's healed. Wait, so is it like a Poke Rust type of thing? Like the Pokemon gets healed, but... Willow Wisp Stone, what? A curious stone with a crystallized Willow the Wisp inside. Evolves Willow the Wisp Haunter. So, is that a special kind of Haunter? Like a new regional form? Not really sure, but speaking of, we should try to find that Phantom again. No, not you, Morlul. As cute as you look in sprite form. Oh my god, I forgot how much damage Jane took. But yeah, I am very curious what the heck is going on with that chicken pox, po pokey pox. It's not like the pokey rust, like the pokey rust, as far as I know, doesn't actually hurt the Pokemon at all. I'm kind of down to catch an Impidim too, it's a really good typing, very and dark. Even though it's not a regional form, and Jane's about to die. Okay, well, and of course, we get a crit. Maybe it's not meant to be for us to catch Impidimp, that is. I mean, I do want to catch that Phantom just to see what type it would be, but it's not popping. Oh wait, we can use the Dex Nav, I forgot. Oh wait, what the heck? 
Yo, that guy totally lied. He said there's only one new regional form per route, but like, bro, we got a completely different kind of dupe hider right here. It's like a poison type, I'm guessing. Thankfully, this time we didn't crit it. Now, let's just hope it can stay in the bag. And nice. Literally every Pokemon we've caught so far has been female, which is great. We got... Wait, no, what? Why does it look like a regular Dupiter now? Huh? But look, even here! Unless... Does it have that disease? I'm gonna call you Toxica. Because <laughs> I have a feeling it's a poison type, and maybe there was just something wrong with the Pokedex screen earlier. No, that's definitely still a water and bug type. So I don't know why it looks different. My guess would be that it probably has that Pokey Rust type of thing. But anyway, let's check out the Dex Nav and see. Wait, how do we actually use it? Hold up, can we not? Okay, maybe it's not as elaborate as Radical Red then, where you can literally choose which Pokemon out of the route you want to search for, and then only that Pokemon will pop up in the grass. But hey, I thought the route was actually over. I didn't even realize there was still way more. All right, well, it didn't die this time, so... There we go! We got Impidimp! Oh, we got Paldean Wooper here too! That's cute. Man, they really just do not want to give me that Phantom again. But interestingly, I got another Dupiter. Or Purple Dupiter. I really don't know what is up with that thing, but... What the heck, you weren't even- Oh my god. Alright, well I'm still glad I went back and healed because... We might need Eevee here to take down Diana. So far, every trainer has had a unique little sprite. Oh, I just noticed though, they don't have like a in-battle sprite, it's just like the transition sprite. So I definitely did not need to go back to Nurse Joy, but if you need my help again, don't hesitate to come back. Wait, what the heck? No, I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm trying to open my menu. Oh, well, never mind. I want to catch all the Pokemon in this forest. Me too, but for some reason, Phantom doesn't want to pop up again. Kind of surprised we haven't gotten a flying type move for Birdo yet, but the beat up is doing some work since we've got four Pokemon on the squad now. This is low-key reminding me of like my Pokemon Soul Silver playthrough, at least the way that I would like edit it, I guess. I would usually cut out most of the battles. I mean, since the battle system itself isn't too crazy or like revolutionary like the previous few fan games I've played, uh, I feel that it'll probably just save time to edit out the battles. And to be honest, I don't really have much commentary to add whenever we're fighting things, unless it's like a new Pokemon or like a boss battle, you know? And speaking of, what the heck? She definitely got some unique music. Oh my God. Okay, she got a unique Pokemon too. A Nidoran with uh, smallpox. <laughs> Wait, no, chicken pox, frick. <laughs> Actually, I just mentioned how I didn't have a flying type move yet, and I was surprised, but literally we got Gus now, so... Birdo can definitely handle this thing. But I also saw on her coat, the, the trainer, she had like a weird symbol. I wonder if maybe this is the evil team of the game? Team Atlas, perhaps, since that's the name of the game. It kind of looked like the logo. Anyway, I think I saw there's something up here, too. Unless this is actually the way out of the forest. Did you see all those ghost type Pokemon? It's amazing to finally see them with my own eyes. My name's Sophie. I spent years studying the history of every corner of Igaron. And now I've decided to travel around the region to see if everything I studied was true. Oh wait, this is actually like an important character. Oh my gosh. The sparkle of passion for history in your eyes. Yes, right? No? Not really. Do you want to tell me or me to tell you the history of this place? I mean, I guess? Oh my god. Well, I wasn't expecting the friggin' mystery dungeon music. You see, we are in the melancholy forest. This would sound better if my voice had some kind of eerie echo, but oh well, let's continue. It took that name about- oh, I just skipped it on accident. But yeah, there was a war here. Okay, so that's why there's all those swords in the ground. Imagine this forest like no other, or any other. With healthy threes and green leaves, the gentle song of flying type Pokemon, and the fresh scent of flowers. Charming, isn't it? Well, that's not what they thought back then. The monarch of that time decided to use this forest, secluded from the rest of the kingdom, as a mass grave for the anonymous warriors who'd given their lives for Ingaron. And that's how the ground of this place became filled with bodies. Don't make me imagine it. I get chills just thinking about it. Hundreds, maybe thousands. 
fallen warriors in the shadow of these trees. No one wanted to come near here for a long time. And when I say a long time, it's a very long time. The bodies decomposed and the soldier's armor rusted. The forest, as if it were a living being, was fading. I suppose the strange color of the trees is due to that. You could say it was welcoming those poor warriors. Legend says that the souls left the bodies and turned into ghastly. It's also said that many children came looking for the remains of a fallen relative in battle or wanted to cross the forest to meet Celebi and change history. But they got lost. Yo, this is friggin' dark. They never managed to get out of here. That's why you can find Phantom hiding among the... Wait, is Phantom like the lost souls of little kids or something? There's even a song that talks about the bravest of the king's knights, Sir Gregorius, who unfortunately also ended up here. Rumors say that sometimes he watches us from the undergrowth, and you can see a pair of green eyes watching you for a moment. That's why this forest got its name, the Melancholy Forest, because anyone who passes through it is overwhelmed by sadness caused by the souls resting here. Dang. That is a quite tragic. On a more serious- what? As if that wasn't serious? It's a real pleasure to find someone who loves history like I do. I hope we meet again. Okay, th thank you for that. I'm definitely not gonna have nightmares tonight. Oh my god, speaking of nightmares, look! There's a friggin' phantom right over there! Oh, finally we got a phantom though! Heck yeah! But I think I saw it's actually a ghost and grass type. Literally like the regular phantom. So I guess these aren't regional forms. This and Toxica, the dewpiter, they're just different looking for some reason. Unless they evolve into a new regional form, I'm not really sure. But it looks like we got another scientist. And yeah, look at the logo on his, like, coat. And the fact that he's wearing a freaking medical mask. Oh my god, no, Mancino! Oh, dude, it hurts. I think, like, I mean, all the Pokemon so far looked pretty messed up, but because I have a soft spot for Mancino specifically, oh my god. This is sad. Okay, now I really want to know what the heck is going on with these scientists. And more, more than that, I want to... Maybe not exactly revenge, but I, I want to... What's the word? The spots on my Pokemon. Ha! <laughs> that means it's immune. Wait, is this like a COVID game? Is this like the Pokemon version of the coronavirus? Well, not exactly corona, but you know. Any kind of virus or plague. So, I mean, this forest does have a whole bunch of, like, weird poison in the air. I don't know what is going on. Because they seem to say that this virus is actually helping the Pokemon. Well, specifically with the first girl with the Poliwag. Apparently, her Poliwag was sick already. And the virus cured it. But, like, it gave it those spots. It's weird, because, like, it looks a lot worse on certain Pokemon than others. Like, this Tarantula doesn't look all that bad. Compared to some of the other Pokemon. Oh, wait. Frick. It's alright, Jane. Get the revenge! Okay. Well... One more tackle. And you're done for. But yeah, that one just kind of looks like it's got, like... Some purple jelly worms stuck in its, uh... Whatever the heck is on Tarantula's back. Silk? I think that's what it is, right? Oh? Come, little phantom. Oh, this is not going to end well. I'm not going to hurt you. That's right. Just like that. That logo on his lapel. Where have I seen it before? Ah, well, I know where I've seen it, but I don't think our character has seen it like we have. It seems... Oh my god, were we part of this team? Before, like, our amnesia? Ugh, the headache again. Oh. May I take some of your leaves? They're for, they're for something very special. Stupid insect! Don't resist! I don't have time for this nonsense. Don't you want to be part of the advancement in Pokemon medicine? Bruh. Uh, is our character's mouth, like, open? And who are you supposed to be? I asked my subordinates to make sure no one gets through. Don't get the wrong idea. You see, our laboratories are in the middle of very important research for the health of Pokemon. We're studying some strange cells that we found in Phantom's leaves. They could be the key 
to the future of Pokemon medicine. So if you don't mind, I'd like you to leave. It's a bit confidential. I suppose you understand. Uh, not really, bro. Sounds like you're doing some uh, immoral experiment here. And I mean, I'm no PETA, but you know, I can definitely Griffin. Who do you think you are to interfere like this? Are you some kind of wannabe hero or something? Is it because you think I'm going to hurt that sweet Pokemon and you want to save it from, I don't know, the evil mad scientist? Yeah, exactly. He's so self-aware and yet, I guess he doesn't care? You're neither a hero nor am I a villain. Since we were kids, we've been taught that pain is something bad, but it isn't always. Uh, yeah, I don't know, bro. I mean, sure, if you want to put yourself through pain, that's fine, but you can't let the Pokemon suffer. Its suffering will heal many Pokemon in the future. Think about it. Nah. I know there is some, like, weird morality to this, but no. No, we're, we're, we're saving the Phantom. We definitely are the good guys here. Right? Okay, he doesn't even get a name. I love that. We got scientists, question marks. With a banger theme. Why is this giving, like, Attack on Titan? There's a certain theme in Attack on Titan that sounds kind of like this. I don't know which one. But nice, we got the flinch. Let's go for tackle. Dang, we don't do barely any damage, though. I mean, I guess we might as well keep going bite then. Since it does about the same, and we get the potential to flinch. This is kind of close, bro. We're gonna die with- Oh, God. Okay, I don't think we kill it with one more bite. I, I don't really want- Jane to die again. Oh wait, we got healed up. Okay. In that case, I'm definitely switching out. And we got the Intimidate too. And of course, as soon as I switched out, it goes for a freaking electric move. And oh wait, Nuzzle always paralyzes. Never mind. I thought I was just getting that unlucky. Well, at least hopefully we don't get fully paralyzed. Nice. And he still has another Pokemon though. Oh, it's Esper. Why do you fight with such strength? You don't even know that Pokemon. Oh, the Phantom. I mean, I know Esper though. Esper been through a lot of suffering, at least in Pokemon X and Y. So I feel kind of bad beating it up. <laughs> That's literally like what happened to it in X and Y. It got beat up by a human. Well, more specifically, it got... I don't know if Eden actually has any dark type moves, but it can at least... uh. Nope, never mind. It does not resist fairy wind. I thought maybe it would at least be neutral since we're also fairy, but that's that's not how fairy type works. But maybe we can finish it? Okay, nice. I realize now that we had fake out, so we could have used fake out too, but whatever. We won in the end and lost no Pokemon. So that's how it is, huh? Too bad I left my good team in the lab. But anyway, I already had enough samples. Be careful with what you do, boy. With that attitude... You might end up regretting it someday. Uh, no, I think... I think you might be the one that ends up with regrets, buddy. All your Pokemon are gonna turn on you! I hope. Sadly, that's not how it works. Even if you, like, abuse your pets sometimes, they'll, they're still loyal to the abuser, which sucks. But, uh... Did we just unlock a new memory? Like, what, what was that at the ending? Oh, look at that! While I was in Melancholy Forest, I met a strange man wearing a black robe. He had a weird symbol on his chest. It kind of looked like a blue A. A? Does it really? I don't see an A. I guess like inside of the... What is that? It's like a snowflake. Again, I'm guessing it's Team Atlas because that's like what the Pokemon or the name of this Pokemon game is. This tomb is surrounded by a mystical aura. I feel a shiver down my spine as I approach. Seems the sword is missing a gem that was once set in the hilt. Hmm. We haven't found a gem to put in there, but I'm guessing once we do, we can come back to this forest then? Interesting. There is a lot going on here so far. Like, again, I love the story. I love the visuals. Like, all the little details in this forest are sick. Like, I'm just now noticing these, like, glowing mushrooms. Those are awesome. Okay, never mind. I thought I couldn't go through there for a second, but... Hey, Steph! What did you think of Melancholy Forest? I find it fascinating every time I come here. Yo, this is such a drastic switch up from what was just happening. Now we got this cheerful, happy music. 
Nah, we gotta tell Steph what's going on over there. I've been taking lots of notes. I battled some trainers and questioned those who had Pokemon with spots. I couldn't gather much data, but I think it's a start. How the heck did we figure out more than she has already? Ain't no way. What? You saw the men in black robes that Grimm mentioned? So they were investigating the leaves of Phantom. Curious, very curious. What could be the interest of them? Uh... Now that I think about it, I think I read somewhere that those specific leaves had some sort of special property. But I would need a check to avoid saying something crazy. <laughs> well, if I start rambling, we could go on for hours. So let's leave for now until I check this all out. Hey, by the way, up ahead is Erato Town. That's where the first gym is. Uh... I'll warn you, the gym leader, Miku, is known for how strong she is despite her young age. <laughs> More than one has underestimated her for her age and ended up quite burned. <laughs> How about a quick battle? Yo, okay. I'm down for it. I'm guessing that also means the first gym leader is going to be fire type. Because, you know, the burn pun she had there. Dude. That's three points for this game. The graphics are a banger. The music slaps. And the story is really, really intriguing so far. Again, the battles are like the only thing, but it's just because I've played so much Pokemon in my life and yeah, I don't know, the 2D, like unless you have some really crazy animated sprites, there's not too much you can do to really make them super interesting. I don't know, I'm one of those people that feel that you don't have to make every ROM hack super duper difficult for it to be fun. Uh, maybe it's because I actually suck at Pokemon. Well, at least I'm not like that good, you know? <laughs> I guess I just don't have the patience, to be honest, or like, I don't know, I get, I, yeah, I get very impatient in battles and I end up making dumb mistakes, which, uh, not great when you're trying to nuzlocke something, but dude, seriously, what is this song? Th like, I want to put this in my playlist, at the very least my, like, video game music playlist, this is a banger, oh my god, it just keeps getting better, what the heck, so good. And finally, we're gonna beat her Yamper. Oh, that's kind of cute. She kind of looks up to Professor Sonia, who also was known for having a Yamper. <laughs> you didn't have to give it your all, you know? You've left me completely wiped out. I'm gonna have to train hard to beat Miku and surpass you at some point. Well, I'm gonna heal your Pokemon and continue my journey, as I want to investigate the Phantom leaves as soon as possible and learn more about Pokemon with spots. Why, thank you. Everything's set. See ya. I'm still curious though, what is up with the Phantom and the Dewpiter in this route? We definitely found every Pokemon here, so one of those or both of those have to be the regional form. Maybe like once they evolve, they change type? Or it could just be that they have a different ability or something. What the heck is this guy doing though, meditating? Huh? Between the Pancham and the Thievils, we can't keep up. In the end, the police patrolled in the area throw their Pokeballs first and ask questions later. Kid, never give a cop a reason to arrest you, especially if you run into clumsy. <laughs> Beneath this layer of beauty hides a man as agile as a septile and as cunning as a meowth. No criminal can escape from me. I get the feeling that even his theme is probably from another kind of video game. Maybe Ace Attorney? Dude, this is so good! We jamming. Wherever I put these crystal clear eyes on, I take out the handcuffs. Oh, damn, another cop? Damn it. Hey, stop. In the name of Ingeron Police. Ah, looks like you got your hands full, don't you, buddy? You're gonna have to move on. Nothing to see here. Except for this village. Oh, my God. Like, this is so sick. We got... Oh, there's actually a thievel down here. Oh, but we can't reach it. I mean, there actually is grass, though, so... I guess we have wild Pokemon. Oh my god! A friggin' Cherry Blossom Sawaddle! And the music, again, like, what the heck? Every route just has different music too? Even in the wild battles? That's so sick! At least I don't think this was the wild Pokemon music earlier. It's got a very, like, Japanese sound to it. Probably because we're in, like, a very Japanese-like village with all the cherry blossoms and whatnot. But this is gonna be a Bug and Fairy type Sawaddle. Heck yeah! We're just building the girl squad right now. We're gonna have all girl Pokemon. So you shall be Poppy. I don't know why. That's just the first thing that came to mind. I noticed it's also getting kind of dark. 
Oh my god, the little Lotad in the river! Oh, that is so cute. There's like a Teddy Ursa over there too. Oh my god, are these like little Jizos? Oh wait, we can talk to this Teddy Ursa. Or... Stand on it. Uh... Yeah, I feel like this might be a... Glitch? Or bug? I don't, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, these little Jizos, I remember. When I went to Japan. They're like these little statues that you can like... Put a little offering to. Sometimes people put like little hats on them. I don't remember what their significance is, but they're very cute. Let's see what's up with this town though. Actually, I don't even think we were in the town yet. Is this like the route before the town or... I'm not sure, but we got the trainer school. I always support Juliana. She's the best! Go, Juliana! Ooh, it's gonna be like Pokemon Flux. We got a little tournament. I mean, low-key, I feel like we should at least try to evolve like our Pidgey before taking on the gym. Because we don't have anything super effective. Rayito. Oh, is that her nickname for... Uh... Uh... Did I, did I just break the game? Uh, I, I'm gonna go into the school. Okay, hopefully that fixes the people outside too. These kids, every time they pass through the hallway, they leave a mess. Do they throw things on the floor at home too? So careless. Yeah, I... Oh. Huh. Maybe that was a time thing. Can we see the time? Yeah, it just turned nighttime in the game. Probably at a certain time, the kids go home, I guess? And we just so happened to be there right when that happened, so it looked like a weird glitch. Just in case I want to save the game, because you never know. Oh. Uh, maybe we're not at the town, because there's even trainers here, and I don't think there's usually trainers in towns. But I could have sworn I saw Errato. Oh wait, yeah, this is just Route 2. A sign showing that we're on Route 2. Nice. I couldn't tell. And this is closed. So I guess just the trainer school is on Route 2. But then where the heck is the town itself? Hold it right there. He won't pass without battling me. Haha, <laughs> dude. Everyone in this game just loves to laugh. I mean, I love that for them, you know? Happiness is the key to... Wait, no. Laughter is the key to happiness. That's... Is that even a saying? I don't know. Oh my... Bro! That whooper just messed me up! <laughs> it just has this goofy little smile too as it does it. Like, ha! I just killed ya! You dead! Jeez! I did not expect that poison to do so much damage. It was a crit though, so I guess it makes sense. Oh my god, we just got our own two crits! Let's go, Birdo! Okay! You crit me, you get crit back, son! I'll keep training. Okay, you do that. Man, I love this so much. Oh wait! I just realized all the Pokemon have like following sprites too. Boxy guy enjoys contemplating the cherry blossoms. Oh my god. They even have specific dialogue for the specific keys. Wait, not keys, what? Change the position of your Pokemon with the A and D keys without opening the menu, huh? Whoa! Oh, that's so cool! Okay, hold up. I have to map this to my controller now. Dude, that's so awesome! Alright, let's have Impy Dimp up first. I love that all of them have, like, following sprites, too. Oh, wait, is this one of those trainers that, like, you have to battle everyone else in the route first? Oh, no, how could this have happened to me? Poor little me. What I would give if someone helped me. Oh, wait, is this a side quest? If someone with blonde hair and green eyes. Eh, well, that's... That's me. You didn't leave. Boy, that means you're gonna help me. I was playing with my granny's ditto and stretching their cheeks when they all escaped. They went really, really fast towards Melancholy Forest and no matter how adorable, squishy, and cuddly they are, I'm not going in there even if grandpa gives me two chocolate cream sandwiches. Nope. So I guess we gotta go track down her three dittos, okay. I think first and foremost, we should find somewhere to heal up. Ooh, it's the daycare. Hello! Many times there are trainers who don't want the eggs they have. You look nice. Oh, hell yeah. I'll take an egg. Let's make it for fun. What do you like more? Lines or spot? What? I, I, that's such a weird question, but I guess spirals? Yeah. Oh. What the heck? 
Do I have to give him one of my Pokemon? Or does he mean, like, put it in the PC? I mean, I guess... I don't want to give up Eden. He's pretty... Well, I did say I wanted to build a full Girly Pop team, so... Sorry, Eden. Actually, it just goes to the PC. Okay, so he didn't mean trade. I think that's just a translation thing. He meant, like, put away. Anyway, we got an egg now. Uh, is there anyone that can heal us in here? Hello, young one. I'm Albert Eggstein. <laughs> okay. After years of looking at my egg-shaped head, I had one of the best ideas. Aren't you tired of having to make room for eggs? Does it frustrate you not knowing when they'll hatch? Well, that's over. With my incubator, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, hell yeah. Use it from your bag. You can send the eggs there when you receive them or even transport the ones you already have. Of course, it only holds six. Use it well and take good care of your eggs. Oh, your Pokemon's eggs. That's what I meant. Yeah. What, what, what other eggs would he be talking about? Well, I believe with that, we're going to wrap up this first episode of Pokemon Atlas. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button and stay tuned, because I don't think this is like the longest demo, but I mean, obviously there's at least one more episode, so I'll see you guys then.